Interviews start the interview with the theory question to make you comfortable and to understand the fundamentals. Once they are okay with that, they move for the problem solving. They wanted to know, do you only limited to the theory or do you have the capacity to solve the problems? Because you can master the theory just in 15 to 30 days. But for the problem solving, it takes more than three to four months. And that is the reason I would suggest you to solve at least one SQL questions for at least three to four months till you develop your problem solving ability. In this video, we will talk about the three most asked interview questions on the problem solving and how to answer them, how to give them different answers, how to talk about the trade-offs and tell him which is better. I will also try to teach you how to develop the problem solving ability. Let's start with the question number one, finding the nth highest salary. This question can be framed in different way. Find me the third highest salary, find me the third most selling product, tell me the third rank in a class and many more way. But the core remains the same. Today, all the questions will be discussed on the employee data. Interviews want to know your thought process through these problem solving questions. So don't directly jump to the questions. Try to have the conversation with the interviewer. Try to ask the question related to that. Now the interviewer have told you to find the third highest salary. But ask the interviewer, is there a possibility that there are some employees which have the similar salary, there can be a possibility of duplicate data. And if the interviewer says, yes, there can be a possibility. So ask them, should I consider the data which has the duplicates as a similar rank or should I consider them differently? As you have the discussion with the interviewer, they know that uh, you have the problem solving attitude and also you do not showing them that you already know the question. This also shows that you have the knowledge how to handle the edge cases. Once you have clarified the question, don't directly jump to the single solution. Try to think about at least two solutions for each of the problem. In this case, we can think about the two solutions. We can order by, we can limit and then we can use the offset. Another solution is to use the windows function. So start with the most basic solution and then try to improve that solution. For example, here we will start with the most common solution which is the order by limit and offset how we will do this like select uh, salary let's say name comma salary from employees okay and then we will do the odd order by salary in descending limit one and of set two. We have the solution, right? Which is the this one. Now here we have the problem. We have got only a single solution. But if you interview have told that you should have all the salaries which is similar, then you can proceed and tell that there can be another solution which is about using the Windows function. So we will proceed with the Windows function. Now Windows function can be used in two ways, either use the CTE and then use that CTE in your query or either use uh, this Windows function as a sub query. In this also you can try to discuss that uh, I thought to start with the CTE but I think uh, the better performance can be through the sub query and I am proceeding with that. You can do is select salary, you can say name comma salary from and here you can give you a sub query. Select name comma salary comma you can use the, now we have the duplicates so now as we have the duplicates we should use the dense rank dense rank over order by salary in descending again s or you can say s salary rank Okay, from employee as T. Now we can give the condition where T dot salary rank equals to three. So now we have the board data. Now we have told both of the solution, interviewer know that you do not have the limited knowledge and you can think beyond a single solution. You also thrive for the better solution. Once you have presented the both of the solution, try to talk about the trade-offs between both of the solution. For example, you can talk about the flexibility. Like here I have used the dense rank, but I can go with the row number or the rank if data changes in the future. You can talk about the performance as well. That in small data, limit and offset can work well, but when it comes to the large data, the modern databases can handle the Windows function well and sometimes the performance is even better in the Windows function as compared to offset one. This was a simple question, but you have talked about two different solutions. You have talked about the trade-offs. You have given which is better, which can be better in which conditions. This shows the depth and the breadth of your knowledge. Let's move to the question number two. Highest salary from each department. 
again, this question can be formed in various ways, like highest marks in each class, highest orders in each month, and various other forms. But the core remains again the same. When it comes to the highest and in each, we have to break it this problem. Highest means we somewhat talking about the max, and each shows that I have to use the group or I have to make the group. Again, give the two solution that I can use with the help of max and the group by, or I can do with the help of windows and the partition by. Start with the most basic solution, which was the maximum and the group by. Let's do that. We will start with select department, comma. Then we use the max function to take out this salary as max salary from employees. Group by department. Okay. So now we have this all is department and the highest salary related to the department. Okay. Now when you have given this solution, try to give the solution related to Windows function as well. We will start with the Windows function. So select uh, what uh, we have ID comma name comma department department comma salary from and uh, we have the r sub query select star comma we will use the row number because we want to identify each and every one uniquely okay so row number over now we are using the partition by it we create the partition on the, each of the department so partition by department order by salary descending okay and uh, yeah descending as ranks that's it given as p forward this from employees now we will give the condition where t dot ranks equal to 1. So now we have all this again. Once you have given this solution, try to talk about these trade-offs of between these two solutions. If the data is smaller and the sorted data, you can go with the solution number one. But when data is complex and there are some limitations, you can use the Windows function because it gives you more flexibility. Question number three is employees with salary greater than the company average. Again, now this question can be built in different forms like the students with more than the average of the class orders, which is the more than the average of the year and so on. But the core again remains the same. Uh, this question is to test your understanding about the sub queries. So this is the two step thinking process. First, you have to find the average salary of the company and then you have to find the employees which has the salaries more than this average. The solution is simple with the help of sub query. You can easily do that. Let us start select id comma name comma salary from employees where salary is greater now we will do the average in the sub query select average of salary from employees run the query so we found, found out this these are the ones who has the more salary than the average one you can talk about the windows function here as well but that is not the optimized way that is the reason just have the uh, upper discussion and do not go deep in that here also we can discuss about the windows function but this solution is already best so you do not have to go deep about the windows function you can ask the interviewer if he or she wants a better solution than that if he says that he is satisfied then okay and if you want more discussion you can talk about the windows function Remember, the goal is not just to give the right answer, but also to show them that how you think, how you think about the edge cases, how you come up with the multiple solution, how you can talk about the trade-offs. Overall, we have to impress the interviewer beyond just solving the questions. This mindset will help you in cracking the interviews and stand out in the crowd. Keep practicing this equal daily. It will improve your problem-solving ability. I will come up with more problem-solving. Keep following Data with Pranjal.